Just because we're outdoors doesn't mean we can't enjoy a little bit of gourmet food. There are a few simple ingredients that you can backpack in and they're easy to carry, lightweight, and they don't require refrigeration. I have some active dry yeast, some bread flour, and just a little bit of water to start. I'm gonna make a focaccia, but because we don't have fresh rosemary or garlic or some of the familiar flavors that go with focaccia, we're gonna do something simple. We're gonna use trail mix. Now, we always have trail mix when we're hiking, and it's full of nuts and berries, perfect to add to a bread. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon to about a cup of water, give that a stir, and then just let the yeast activate and then bring it together with the flour into a nice supple dough. With my yeast foamy and activated, I've got a couple simple ingredients to add to the flour. Just a pinch of salt and just work that through with a fork. I'm gonna create a little well here in the flour and then with a stir, making sure to get any yeast that may have attached itself to the bottom of the cup. I'm gonna pour in all of that liquid. And I'm just gonna gently start bringing that together. When I do, it will form a nice ball of dough. I'll cover it up and just let it rest for about an hour or until it shows just a little bit of resistance at about doubled in size and it'll be ready to put on the fire. With the dough fully risen, I can uncover it. Look at that, so beautiful. And I've got a cast iron pan already heated. Now you might say, well, I don't have a cast iron pan in the woods. Well, I wouldn't go to the woods without one. But if you don't have one, you can use a large flat rock, heat it inside the fire, and you'll get great results. A Little bit of olive oil. We'll just roll that around on a nicely seasoned pan. And it's as simple as just picking up that dough and placing it on the pan. Going to just form it with our hands, making sure it's not too thick because we don't have an oven. Just have radiant heat to cook this. And then my little addition is going to be the trail mix. So I'm just going to take the trail mix and spread it on top. Got some sweet cranberries, currants, We've got some nuts, some whole grains, and uh, this is going to give us a nice sweet treat by the campfire. I'm gonna press that in just a little bit, back on the fire, and before you know it, it'll be ready. After a turn about halfway through the cooking, it's puffed up, it's nice, it's caramelized. I topped it with just a little bit of brown sugar to give it some sweetness. Now that's just a little bit of uh, sea salt. Let's get a slice of this and see what it looks like. Perfect to serve in a wedge just like this. Try it. Oh. Mmm. If you can make this at campsite, you will be a popular camp cook, let me tell you. Mmm.